Hey, how goes it? Ken Bozak. And today I got with me a co-host, as you guys can see. I'm accompanied by Trevon Lames. Trevon Lames, thank you for joining me today. Well, I appreciate you having me. <laughs> appreciate you making the time. Uh, I wanted to set the record straight about the rumors going around about me and Trevon James. No, we are not friends. I am friends with Trevon Lames. Common misconception. They almost look identical to the T. So I could see the mix up, very close resemblance, but record straight, not Trevon James. I'm friends with Trevon Lames. Exactly. I I think he's just trying to steal my hairstyle or something, I'm not sure. But. No, he definitely the hairstyle. That's what it is. You gotta yeah. get something else going on. Make yourself stand out a little bit. You gotta become unique. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, I wanted to start off with a with the title, Exposed. Now, this obviously isn't me proving that BitConnect is in some way a scam. Uh, my question to you, the audience, is show me proof that it's not a scam, and we can start from there, but I shouldn't have to prove to you something's a scam if it cannot be proven it's not a scam. The lack of proof is proof. This right here, though, is how these two gentlemen conduct business and how they manipulate their audience and take advantage of these viewers. So, I'd like to start off with a definition. The definition of a pyramid scheme, slide number two. Pyramid scheme, a form of an investment, illegal in the U.S. and elsewhere, in which each paying participant recruits two further participants that, uh, with returns being given to early participants using money contributed by earlier ones. Okay, that's a pyramid scheme. Sounds familiar, a little bit like a website I know. Um, oh, and now we have the definition of scam. A dishonest scheme of fraud. Swindle. I fucking like swindle. That's a good goddamn word. Here, why don't you take slide number four, uh, Trevon Lames? Well, the bot is a story. There is not. There is no bot. Wouldn't that make Big a scam? And then you got Craig over here saying, uh, trading bot is just a story equals true. Believe in. So it's not best. So it's best not to give away time and effort to uh, to the idea that a, of a trading bot because uh, it's just a story. Uh, the blockchain is not a story. The website is not a story. The referral link is not a story. The BCC token is not a story. The bot is a story. Don't get lost in imaginary bots. Stick to what's real uh, to move faster. Wow. Um, it sounds like to me that... Um, Craig Grant just admitted that there's no trading bot. There's no viable product that the BitConnect.co program is actually selling. So wouldn't that by definition make it a scam, a pyramid scheme, an MLM, nothing more? Right, and that's not what he says in his videos from what I remember seeing it last. Hmm. Uh, he's like, oh, this uses a trading bot and it has nothing to do with the dollar value of the BCC token and all that bullshit. Yeah, that's what and I mean. Then, uh, so if, if it has nothing to do with the token, and it has everything to do with the bot, but here he's admitting that there is no bot. I wonder if his stepson, Trevon James, knows about this. He might be crushed. You would think that he would want to keep family in the loop, you know? Let me see what we got on slide number five. All right, so paying for fake reviews. Uh, that's actually a little small for my screen. You mind if you cover that one? <laughs> Offering to pay people who only leave positive reviews and then spend hours removing only negative comments. Uh, Craig writes, please put a long positive comment on this video about your experience with BitConnect. After your comment, put your BCC address in this chat and I send you $10 worth of BCC tokens. Um, then, uh, let's see, you got Trevon over here. Yeah, they said this will, uh, they will invite me. Then Craig said, uh, up there, Bitcoin for capital leases. <laughs> uh, if I did not approve the comments on my video about earning 100k, you would so much hate. You could so much hate. It's funny <laughs> as hell. Uh, think I just deleted 20 hate comments. Smiley emoji. That was fun. 
So I'm I'm assuming that pretty much all the positive reviews, all of these viewers are are reading are paid and bought. I mean, there's probably not a single honest, natural review, a natural comment. They've been selected. Yeah, it's not allowed. Not allowed to have that. No truth is allowed to be spoken here. I don't know, guys. I I just how do you guys in the chat feel about this already? Are you serious? Like that what they're doing to mislead their audience and then what they talk about behind what they thought was closed doors is just one after another not the same at all they're they're just just fucking i ah i don't even know yeah and they they they're viewer manipulation i mean that just sums it up they're manipulating their viewers right there on slide number six and they they dangle this little incentive of like, oh, you should use my link, buy underneath me, I add you to the BitConnect focus chat, and then I tell you how to get referrals and all that bullshit, and then you get into the into the chat, and then you get shit on. Some of the truths. Uh, somebody asked me how I got this supposed info. Alright, yeah, uh, it could be photoshopped. You're right. This was given to me by about five to ten different people that all were misled by these guys, where they used their referral link for a hundred dollar loan but were kicked out of the group until they made a thousand dollar loan with proof they would be welcomed back. Uh, they weren't they weren't very happy with that and unfortunately these people still think if they ride the tail feathers of these two they'll get rich with them so they wanted to remain anonymous. I actually was in, in the chat myself and I scrolled and I saw some video I, I took some v- screen video of going through it so maybe that would look less photoshopped because it's a video of my screen just scrolling through, trying to catch everything I could while I was in the chat myself personally. Uh, right here though, like like this, doing this confuses and tricks new users and adopters of Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies into joining this MLM pyramid scheme. And you saw previously, like there is no bot, so it's very blatantly a pyramid scheme. Even the biggest faces for this website and program admit it. Um, and of, uh, and of course, Javon James is okay with this as long as you're under him. Uh, basically, if you could see over there, he has a uh, somebody that's under him who used uh, his referral to sign up for BitConnect asking if he could pose as Trevon on his YouTube channel and use Trevon James' YouTube video on a different channel and use his referral link under it. And Trevon said, as long as you're under me, and you're getting something, I'm getting something, so go ahead and upload my video. Let people think you're me, so that way people that are coming into this, new users, new adopters, will will have this this infection spreading everywhere all over YouTube, and at least in some way, somehow, he gets a cut. I'm not all right with that. I was wondering why those... uh how-to videos you know, that they put out were being pushed so much and not getting reported because they don't report them themselves right they have a their their pay for play right there they're they're letting you use their content to get hits on YouTube as long as you're using their referral links uh, slide number seven you want to go for that one digital rep for sale odds are all the positive reviews uh, you have and will ever read are bought and paid for it's also safe to assume he filters all the true negative comments. Um, so if I have a, if I have ten BCC to all of y'all, if I have sent ten BCC to all of y'all, if you are happy, please like and share the video if you have not already. No wonder why he doesn't so, have a real job. That dude would not survive. <laughs> so they're like, kind of like a real life, uh, you know, uh, what do you call what was that? What's that review uh, site? Oh, that... Yelp. Yelp, yeah, yeah, Yelp. <laughs> they're just they're they're being kind of like YouTube Yelpers. Yeah, definitely. They're definitely like yeah, they're yelping. That is insane. So yeah, here we have the pay for play, uh, being blackmailed or shunned from the marketing team unless spending enough for Craig to profit from his from the pyramid referral. Uh, one of the guys in the group used the link but didn't use it with enough and uh, was basically told get out and when you have proof of a thousand dollar loan you can come back in and we'll teach you how to use those referrals and get referrals and stuff like that that's beyond fucked up so I was like what incentive do they have to 
teach you how to give referrals or whatever, once they have your referral and your money and everything, what incentive are they like that keep, that holds them true to what they say, really? Yeah. Well, I mean, once you use their referral for a hundred dollars, they already know you're subjectable. So if they say yeah. something like, Well, you're not in until you use a thousand Maybe they'll get double dipping, and they still don't have to help you, but they still get paid twice. Now I'm gonna kick you out, and you don't come back till you get ten thousand. God damn it! Oh, ten thousand. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's go on slide number nine. It's a trap. Um, unfortunately, dude, my screen's a little bit small from all the screen sharing, so I'm gonna have to rely on you for the little text message there. But uh, I got this. Uh, what happens in BitConnect Focus Chat stays in BitConnect Focus Chat. Let's see. It's a joke how you guys talk about this stuff in open chat and <laughs> say not to uh, talk about it. Uh, a true leader does not keep any secret only for their use. Rather, they take webinar and use other methods to share and train their teammates on how to justify and get the fullest benefit from any promotional tool. Hmm. Let's see where this goes. <laughs> um, it's reverse psychology to trick other into not depending on me for help and get it themselves. As far as open secrets, it's magic. So, what you guys say about that? <laughs> It's crazy, man. It's a trap. I mean, they're literally just trying their hardest to just teach people and tell them out front that they're manipulating them themselves. Like, hey, you can manipulate people like I manipulated you. Just look at the formula, dummy. You're in it. Yeah, right. I know you're not smart enough to go do your research. Just take what I'm saying. Give me your money. Well, check this out. Good. Check this out. You said the 10K loan earlier. Look at that. Get the fuck out unless you've got proof of a 10K loan, bro. Get out. <laughs> I, I hadn't seen this before. Uh, burn 10K loan or else. Uh, you claim you will do a 10K loan. Is that right? Well, uh, what makes you assume I'm lying? I don't understand. So you, why we all get added back to this group after you do that loan. Cool. What? So they're kicking people out. Until the, yeah, I was just fucking joking. I but know you were. No, I know you have not seen this slide. I just sent it to everybody. Like, you just got, like, this is for real, guys. Like, this is how they operate. It is an MLM mentality. Their mentality. They are using paid Facebook ads and YouTube to spread false reviews about results on BitConnect. They're paying people to go out there and comment on things with only positive reviews, and the incentive is more payment. This is fucking insane, you know? And I well, saw you thought that, that's insane. Look at this. Look at this. A hundred dollars return in hours. I only invested a hundred dollars and got it back within hours, so I have nothing to lose. Craig Grant. Look at the conversation, man. That's a, he's completely he's he is He's putting the formula in play that he just explained with the reverse psychology, the uh, the MLM mentality the whole manipulating the audience, um, this is exactly that formula being put in play right now in front of us. I don't know. Uh, I see right there. Craig Grant. Okay. Yes, they will. Let's see. Now, OFC, I will try doing it, uh, but I guess they, do they dose the website at the end and run with money. Yes, they will. Yeah, I know all of those dumb questions might look funny to you, to the man living his dreams while others say it's a scam and live in misery. And my right, and Craig says it's a scam, so why are I doing it? So why are you doing it? <laughs> uh, I only invested $100, like you said there. You read the quote and got it back within an hour, so I have nothing to lose, you know? So he's got nothing to lose by promoting this shit because he's only got so much money and yeah, but how did he make a hundred dollars back in hours? He didn't. He he. That's misleading. He didn't say that. I posted a video on YouTube. I uploaded a thing to Steam it, and I convinced a thousand people to use my referral link. That's how I got my profit. He just. Oh, I put a hundred bucks in, and I already made it back in hours. And then you have that person he just spoke to. Hey, I made that my hundred dollar investment. How do I get more money? Oh, come back when you have a thousand. Get out. Puts the thousand dollars in. 
gets back in. No, get out. Come back when you put ten thousand in. Yo, it's a legit cycle. And how I had could, somebody how could get the hundred back, like, because I don't know. I don't have referrals on this bullshit. Yeah, dude, it's crazy. And, but I had somebody say, uh, "Listen, I've been told you uh, Craig was shady, but I don't believe that Trey is a bad dude." All right, well, let me just say right here, I don't think that either of these people are that bad. I just blame BitConnect because it bought their soul. And the reason I distanced myself from Trevon James and Craig Grant socially is because this is going to take them down. I don't have to do any of this. People sent me this and requested that I do this. I don't even need to do this because this will eventually pop. And all they're going to have to stand on is, oh, I lost money too. I told you it was risky. Um, I lost money too. And um, I lost money too. Like that's all they're going to be able to say. They're going to cry with you. And they're going to tell you to yeah. shut up. They're in the dumps with you. Yeah, but they still they still profit it and they know that there's no bot they don't believe in the bot and, and the, the reason that I think Trey and, and Craig are in the same boat is because they're literally rowing the same boat together Right. so if you think Craig Grant is a bad guy by association Trevon James is a bad guy and that's why I disassociated myself because people were coming to me saying well your friend thinks that this is a good idea why shouldn't I do it your friend thinks so. I, I had to make sure I cut ties. I didn't want to go down with that shit. But even after seeing this shit now, why would anybody new want to click on their link and say, "Yeah, you know, I'll, I'll help you out"? Oh wow, dude, crypto, crypto's here. Yo, Omar Bam, what is up, brother? Hey, Thank you for stopping by. I know that guy. <laughs> I saw a couple people in the chat, but I didn't want to stop until we got through this. But I definitely wanted to shout out, uh, crypto. Thank you so much for the support, crypto. All right, so let's go into slide number 13 here, uh, where it says, don't question the Trey Grant. This MLM marketing team is a cult-like mentality. And you can see the people that support these guys even end up coming up with their own conclusion, all on their own, that these guys are fucked up. Ain't no Clive around here, he gone. BCC got y'all so rich, won't do shit for $20. Fuck this, Craig. You are building a cult, not a group. True, true, true. <laughs> what a douche. Ball out, Craig, you got it. Hello, guys, what's the new video? If you ride the tail feathers close enough, maybe you'll get a penny. Maybe you'll get some breadcrumbs, bro. It's easier than doing work. Right. Picking up the, getting a little dust for the peasants, like I say. <laughs> and this right here, this was um, the, them talking about telling people to add me because uh, the moment you added me, they knew that you were probably part of the group that was sharing some content with me, and they would yeah. just kick me out immediately, kick the person that invited me out immediately, and they kept saying, invite him back, and then whoever was friends with me and did it, got kicked out again, and it went on for about, i say I was in and out about five to ten times within the one day. Yeah, I was in there for... Almost the whole day before they realized that I was there. <laughs> and they only realized I was there because I added you back into the group. So and I was hoping that they were sleeping. <laughs> so here's the thing that I'm upset about. Everyone's saying, why are you so butthurt? You know, why am I butthurt? I'm not, it, it's not, the, this doesn't really affect me. This affects the newcomers. This affects the people that are just coming in the crypto. And these people are promoting a blatant MLM pyramid scheme that has zero proof that it is not a scam. I, I should not have to prove to you that something is a scam. If you cannot prove to me, it is not a scam. That's just backwards right. logic. And the thing is too, is that like the new people, like me, when I first came in here, Trevon was the first person I found. And then Craig was the second person I found. And I'm sure that that's the way that it goes for a lot of people. You find Trevon, then you find Craig, and then you find all the other real people. And by them doing this kind of bullshit, um, they are proving themselves to be stains on crypto, and it, it makes, you know, Bitcoin already started out with a bad rep, with the Silk Road and everything, and then you got these assholes coming over here and promoting Ponzi schemes, and it just feeds to the fucking shit that, like, you know, oh, Bitcoin's just a scam, and all the bullshit, it's no, it's no good, you know? And they're just sitting here adding to the bullshit. Yeah, it's, it's definitely just going to hurt cryptocurrency's reputation in the long run. I personally believe that these guys have a responsibility I almost feel like it's it's uh, Uncle Ben and Peter Parker scenario where like, dude, you have great power and it comes with great responsibility. And if you're not going to if you're not going to take that responsibility and use it for good, and you're going to become the 
the world's most famous crypto referral Ponzi snake oil salesman that 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 makes other people it gives a lot of responsibility to other people that have to highlight the bullshit and I have a lot more better things to do on a fucking Friday night or Thursday night like this is crazy someone said uh, Ken equals hater it well, does no it does that's a uh, Latin Ken is Latin for hater oh oh so it's okay <laughs> No, yeah, yeah, no, that's, that's exactly where my mom got it from. Um, it was a good choice. But you know what, I kind of like being a hater, you know? I, I would rather be a hater than be known as somebody who jumped on their dick and was like, oh yeah, let me add your little referral link. You know, I'd rather be known as a hater. <laughs> yeah, I'd rather be known as a hater. Trevon James said out loud, and I, 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 not that I know, but I'm sure everybody here watched it. I, I stopped watching. I don't watch any of that, but I heard he said um, if Ken would have just spoke about BitConnect positively, he'd be rich. And you're right. I would have used Trevon's BitConnect link. I would have signed up. I would have made a video how to do this for real, and I probably would have got a thousand people to sign up, and I'd be in vacation in Miami. But my soul would be sold, and my digital reputation would be crushed, and um, I don't want to be known as a referral snake oil salesman i i want to be known for speaking to people like you um like crypto like um like everybody uh, andreas uh, tone jack tater like there's so many people i've been blessed to speak with in this industry and it's not because i promote referral programs that are just going to swindle people out of their money and i'm being blatantly motivated by a trickle down pyramid scheme payment process Right, and plus then you'd have a video on my channel um, where I was bashing you then. <laughs> Man, I'm still jealous you didn't make a... Uh, I, I mean, I, I'm i just saying if you wanted to, you could. You want a parody video? <laughs> Ooh, I mean, I'm not saying I want one, because then if I want one, you know what I mean? But, like, if I got one, I wouldn't be mad. See, it's it, the thing is is that it's, it's really hard to make a parody video on somebody who I agree with. You know what, though? Here's the problem, <laughs> yeah. though. Trevon, like, the one that you just did, Trevon Lames... That was a good video. Like, that was, even if that was me, it would be like if Weird Al Yankovic made fun of my song. Like, I'm humbled. Like, good shit, bro. <laughs> well, thank you. You made me yeah. look good in a better light. <laughs> and that's what you did. <laughs> and, and you know, that one didn't take as many takes as the first one. That one took two takes, and I had no regrets on anything I was saying. My wife was watching it before I uploaded it, and she was like, that just sounds like a bunch of hate and doesn't sound like a parody. You shouldn't upload that. I was like, no, 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 no. This is parody, and I'm uploading this shit. I don't give a shit. Do you have the link <laughs> for the um, for the BitConnect GitHub? Since they do not have a white paper, they have this weird GitHub. Do you happen to have a link for the chat? Post that there. Oh, I would like to see what some of these people think up. of that, and I would like you to talk a little bit about what you saw when you checked it out. Uh, while everybody has a chance to click the link in the comments and check that out. Um, yeah, you gotta give me a second to dig it out. Um, where did I post it? Oh, so you know, I I I know C language when it comes to like some things like that. I have never dabbled in C plus plus, but from what I can see on the code, or what they released on the calling an open source code, which isn't, it's not. Um, all you see in there are wallets, stuff for wallets. So what it looks like is um, just staking. Like the bot that they're trying to sell you isn't a bot, it's staking, they're staking the coins and then paying that out, you know? Does it make sense? Yeah, no, it doesn't make sense. And like uh, Craig said, uh, in the photo that we saw, which could possibly be photoshopped, I, I, I'm taking the word of a, of a bunch of people that wanted to send me this. Um, he doesn't even believe that there's a bot. He just believes that there's the referral program. The referral program is real, and that's what you got to focus on. Stick, your, stick so to I, the game. I tried to post the link in the uh, chat but it doesn't let me. Send it to me over here on Hangouts. All right.
I'm not a liar. Yeah, somebody... I think Trevon James is Elliot Magazine. I don't know. Everyone seems to be <laughs> saying it is, but I don't fucking know. I mean, know. I've, got, I've got somebody named the Big Connect Experiment who is also the uh, the Darknet guru, and I also think that he's um, everything is wrong. Uh, that YouTube channel, but uh, I keep getting my. I think I'm getting the same guy in my channel in my. Uh, a piece of shit over and over again, <laughs> but um, we know the whole thing is that Trevon is putting this link out in that little chat and then saying, "Here's their open source code and everything." But the thing is, is like he can barely read simple English as it is, let alone coding, and he hasn't read that for himself and doesn't know what the fuck he's spreading around, you know. And I like oh. how I like how Trevon James likes to compare BitConnect to Bitcoin, saying that we don't need to know who the creator of BitConnect is, or the CEO of the platform, or proof that there's a trading bot, only because Bitcoin doesn't have any real creator. We don't know who created Bitcoin. We, we that's his go-to. We don't know who created yeah. Bitcoin. So why do you need to know who created BCC? Well, I'll tell you I, right I, now why. There's no white paper. <laughs> there, and even if there was, there's no open source information on the, BC, the bitconnect.co website. There's, there's no proof that you can't find any trading bot proof. And if the trading bot existed, it would be used all over. Millionaires like, like Mark Cuban would be dumping money into this thing. Right. I, yeah. You know, like, because you can even look at the coin market cap and then find a shit coin on the coin market cap Go to their webpage, and right there on the shit coins website, you'll find open source code. But yet, BitConnect, who is now, like, last I saw, was in the top 10 for some reason. You go to their website, and Well, it's in the top 10 three. because you can only fucking buy it. And then you can put it on a loan, and that's, like, its only purpose. So its purpose is to be locked away and not traded. And the exchanges that it is on, they're shit exchanges exchanging shit coins. So... <laughs> The volume is so low on those shit exchanges, it will never mess with the volatility, which is exactly what they want. They, they want that token, that coin, to be manipulatable. And without the open source information on the website and the white paper, they could just dump a million BitConnect coins into their own little exchange and deflate the value of the BCC. And that would, I mean... I know that wouldn't hurt people that are locked, I guess, in loans or something, but that would affect people that are holding it, that it would make it obvious that they're manipulating the price in order to make profits. They have full control over this coin. Yeah. And what doesn't make sense to me is that if you were locking up your tokens and for these loans or whatever, why is it that you have to, you know, you're paid in U.S. dollar, and then you have to convert that into BitConnect tokens? Let's see. <laughs> Shouldn't it already be in one or the other if they're trading? Yeah, it's so like confusing. It's not. It's not a uh, convenient user interface. It's not very user friendly. Um, you literally have to like really be dumb to follow this. How many misspells were there on that website when you first? Because I found like five. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> and the thing is that I, after I found those um, misspellings on there. Uh, and put that video up, uh, somebody told me in the comment section they fixed it, and I went back to the website, and sure enough, they, they fucking fixed their uh, spelling errors. <laughs> so, the whole company would have the manpower sitting around looking for bullshit like that before the website goes live, but apparently these scammers don't, and then they put the website up and just wait for somebody like me to come along and like, hey, what the fuck is this? Negage? <laughs> oh, exchange, that's what you're trying to say. <laughs> you know. Oh, and everyone's saying Trevon should join the chat. For the record, Trevon James and Craig Grant were both invited to this. I asked them to simply send me an email. I will send them a link. And Trevon said, no, this is planned. I only like to go uh, impromptu. And uh, Craig was busy uh, doing the shell game on the boardwalk. You know what I mean? That's like what he does during the day when he's not YouTubing. He does the cog shell thing. <laughs> well, yeah, they're probably already in the chat, and they're probably watching uh, underneath a, a different uh, channel name. That's I wish, what I would do. I wish they would have joined the chat, because I would have liked to see what they had to say about a bunch of these screenshots that were up here. Well, here's another thing, too. Like, if 
you know, if it was me and you're putting out this live stream trying to discredit me on something that I knew was was not what you were saying was fake or was wasn't true, I would take your opportunity to come on here and defend what I'm saying and to disprove you. But because they want to hide behind all this bullshit and just not even you know come on here to to even discuss it or whatever, it just shows that it's you know that's all they want. They just want to declare their name and. Give me all your money, and don't come back until you do. Somebody said that Trevon James is live streaming our live stream on his site. Would make that copyright infringement, so I could report that and have his channel shut down. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Because <laughs> you'll need three of those, right? Uh, well, you're the you're the YouTube vigilante. Get on it. Yeah. Well, I mean, it has it's got to be you to do it. I can't. Oh yeah, that's right. That's how people get away with buying Trevon James and Craig Grant videos. Right, because I, I, if that was the case, if that was the case, I'd be over there like, copyright, 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 fuck you, fuck you, but beans it's got to be you to do it, and I hope you do, you know, <laughs> and it only takes three of those. That's funny. Uh, I'm just Even trying to go through. I wanted to do a shout out to Cheesy, It's Boss Lady, Jet Blake. I got Panda King. Crypto was here. I saw Marcello from the Bitcoin Podcast stopped by. Uh, Brett Simpson's here. Um, I see a bunch of people. Uh, Bitcoin B, uh, an American homestead doesn't seem to like me very much. I'm surprised that Craig hasn't had more copyright strikes against him. He's always re-uploading other people's shit, you know? I, I don't have to unmute Trevon. If Trevon wants to talk, he can email me right now, and I'll give him a link. He can join the chat. He can speak. He can put his face in front of something. He can be a man, not hide behind an alter ego. Oh, my God. If he were to come around live stream with me, I'd be so starstruck. <laughs> Well, he is the uh, cryptocurrency number one referral snake oil salesman of the year, followed by his stepfather, Craig Grant, number two. Um, it is quite what? amazing. You reversed that. You, you reversed that uh, be with BitConnect because, I mean, Craig really referred the right person. He referred Trevon, who had more followers, and Craig's on top of the whole steaming pile of shit. Oh, he's wow, you're right, because I was thinking because Trevon has more people under him, but as long as he's under Craig, it doesn't matter. Wow, you're right. The whole pyramid scheme thing really doesn't click for me because I'm not used to that that mentality. <laughs> it's because you're honest. <laughs> All right, I unblocked him. All right. Hi, oh, you really got Trey. <laughs> hey, Trayvon. Intangible scams. You know, scams that you can't touch, won't trace back to you, but the IRS is still going to get your ass. Come on, say something productive, bro. Bitching about other people who are making money. I but it's not that. bitching about them making money. It's how they are fucking making the money. It's misleading. Are you guys not looking at the slides? Are you? Is this not clicking? Like, it's how they're going about it. Let me go back down here to this year's slide. Let me see. Let me see. There we go. The scam is in the conversation. It's the way that they conversate with people. It's the way that they mislead them. Did you not see the screenshots where people use the referral link for $100, got kicked out? They told, use it for 1000 come back. Use it for 1000 use it for 10000 you come back. Like, it's just, do you not see the full circle jerk that's happening? But, you know, I don't expect people who actually still believe them and buy underneath them and everything to actually understand perfect fucking logic. Sir Vaughn, I know you don't care. I don't care either. This is all here now and because other people have asked me to do this. Other people sent me the screenshots. I wasn't, it's not just me, dude. Other people just want the newcomers to be aware of people like you. You, Trevon James, are the new uh, Arabian prince or the African prince. Send me your, uh, your uh, bank account info through the email and because email's so new, people believe it, and they send you their bank info. 
Like, you're that guy. You're the new Arabian prince, African prince on, on the email scams. You're that guy in crypto. And people like me just have to make sure other people are aware of that. That's all. No hard feelings. Keep doing you. You're taking yeah, advantage of the idiots. You know other people are idiots. I know you know that. That's that's what you do. I dig it. But I have to do what I have to do too and let people know I have to make sure the idiots aren't idiots. That's all. I'm just doing my part. Yeah, and really, it, it, if you go and do BitConnect, that's your decision. You go to buy underneath their link, that's your stupidity. Go ahead and do it. You're not harming me or, or you. Or it's, 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 your, it's your fucking money. <laughs> do what you want with it. But we're just putting it out there that uh, they're, they're just not, they're, 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 they're saying one thing in their videos and then uh, shitting on you uh, in the chat. You know? Yeah, behind closed doors, it's a totally different conversation than what happens on these videos. Right. But the Coin Alley made a good point, man. You, uh, he said you have this video listed as uh, Creative Commons, and uh, reuse is allowed underneath that. So you should probably change your <laughs> you should probably change your license agreement to uh, YouTube standard license. But I thought I did. I don't know. No, well, I mean, it doesn't bother me. It's just going to get me a bunch of hits. Like, Shervon's awesome. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, dude, um, that's about wraps it up, I guess. Did you want to talk about the whole Steemit scenario? Because it sounds like they're becoming whales, and that's what's killing Steemit. So it sounds like people created monsters. They're already whales on uh, Steemit. And, uh, you know, the whole point that, you know, we all saw Craig go all in on Steam first, right? And that was because he joined a guild uh, that required him to have more Steam. So that's why he went all in on that. And in doing so, they have this uh, means of downloading people and silencing others on Steamit um, to make sure that their shit stays on top. If they don't like you, they downvote you. And that's what I kind of was going out with my video of my parody today. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, then, then Trevon followed. And um, it's just, I just can't believe this bullshit they do. You know? Um, I'm, surp I'm actually surprised that they haven't downloaded my shit. And now that I've said something, they probably will. <laughs> so, oh, I hope um, they downvote all my stuff. That would be great. But ju just by them having so much power on Steam... Um, I actually don't want to be on Steam anymore because of that, and I'm actually thinking about powering down all my shit and just taking the Steam out and selling it for Litecoin, you know? Yeah, yeah, I'm with you. I gotta power down my Steam. It, uh, Steam it's dying. Every time it goes down, uh, all of a sudden, that's when people go all in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm not yeah. gonna show you me all in. But just take my word for it. I sold absolutely everything. I sold the kitchen sink and I bought Steam it with it. <laughs> and and I think that's bullshit too. That they like they're they're allowed to post whatever the fuck they want on Steam, but then other people come along and post something along you know in the same category that they like Genesis Morning or whatever, and be up on Steam. It gets downvoted and so it's a scam. You're promoting um, a Ponzi or whatever the fuck, you know. But they're allowed to post about Genesis and whatever the fuck they want. Um, I don't like that shit. I don't like it at all. You never see any of their shit get downvoted, you know. Uh, Craig said that he had something that was like BitConnect related uh, that was downvoted one time. But, uh, you know, I don't know how true that is or... I don't doubt that it is, but because they seem to be very negative towards BitConnect stuff on Steam, but I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, man, oh, dude, it's just like, I didn't even want to do this. I had to do it. I, thank you for doing this with me. I really fucking wish Trevon James would have accepted the offer like a man and came on and spoke with me, but I appreciate you keeping me company, Trevon Lames. Um, next best person to sit in. Yeah, man, no problem. Um, 
you know, Trevance was probably sitting there with his balls tucked between his legs, with live, re-live streaming your live stream. <laughs> and then, you know, of course, when this video is all done and said, um, there will, Craig and Trevon, I know Craig will, but they're going to try to make videos to discredit what everything was said on this video and, and just, you know, no, what I really meant to say was this, and what I was really trying to come across as was, was I was trying to say this bullshit and whatever the fuck and blah, 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 you know, and, they're, and then there's actually going to be people out there who are like, oh, yeah, okay, yeah, you're right, you were trying to say that, I see that now, and they're stupid enough to believe it because they're stupid enough to buy in underneath it. You know, Yo, so. I unmuted. I unmuted Trevon James, and he hasn't said one fucking thing worth reading. Like, I mean, everybody. I had to. I had to start deleting other people because they were attacking him, and I wanted him to get a word in edgewise. So I tried to filter it. It was a lot, but he just. It, there's nothing, dude. There's absolutely nothing of value coming from him. That's why he couldn't call in. You watch our my videos with him. He can't even talk about crypto. He only knows referral programs. That's what he knows. He doesn't know crypto. He knows referral programs. Why are people still saying he hasn't muted? <laughs> He's not muted. You can see him on the live stream. It's live on YouTube. It's right there. <laughs> I mean, look at this. Look at look at slide number four. The bot okay. is a story. I mean. And we have people in the chat calling Craig Grant a scammer, but Trevon James is not. Well, I mean, they're literally in the, like the same hotel room. He's staying with his stepdad. They're they're on vacation right now. How is, how is one a scammer and one not a scammer? You can't one, support one and not support the other in the same day. Like you're, I understand that maybe one's dick tastes better than the other, but they're still dicks. Yeah, and even even when they're not together, you know. Do you really think that the only way that they communicate is through that little BitConnect chat or whatever? No, they're, they're talking offline and laughing at you behind your back. You know? what, what a bunch of losers! Look at them look at the in the chat! <laughs> I'm not a liar. People are trying to say I'm a liar. I have whatever I need right here in this slide. Like, there are so many screenshots, I couldn't even use them all. And here's the thing, like, I know someone said, like, oh, that's photoshopped, but... Um, I, don't, I know this won't mean shit to that person, but I saw some of this shit for myself because I was in the chat as well. You know, I wasn't I wasn't talking while I was in the chat because I didn't want them to know that I was there. But I saw some of this bullshit come along as well, and uh, I know that it's not uh, photoshopped or anything. But you know, for the people who think that it might be, I don't mean shit to them. <laughs> so well, here's um, my point. My point is the proof is here. And if you don't want to accept it, don't accept it. And again, everybody in the chat room, if you do not like my videos, don't watch them. You do not see me going on the Trevon or Craig's videos and commenting. You don't see me spending my time watching things I don't like. So it doesn't make sense for you to come here and watch this live stream and say, I don't like this. You should definitely be doing something better with your time. This is for the... 123 live watchers who have given me over 40 thumbs up. That means I'm on the right fucking track. Right. And you don't see me commenting either because I'm blocked. So I might well I might be blocked too, but I still I, I haven't watched a single video since I I mean, dude, what really Hey Trevon, Trevon, why don't you explain to your audience how you swindled them into thinking you lost your Bitcoin on a Ledger wallet that was literally impossible to have not written down your private keys? Everybody, if you go back and watch even the video he made, they make you write them down and they make you enter them in order to go to the next step. He lied about losing Bitcoin, put his hat down and said, please, sir, please, sir, please, I'm having a child. I'm having a child. Have mercy upon me. I'm having a child and I make minimum wage. I make $5 an hour and I lost all of my Bitcoin. Please put it in my hat, sir. You're a fucking liar, bro. If anything, he just, uh, like you're an echo man. <laughs> if anything, he just lost the sheep. You know. He's calling Ledger wallets a scam. He literally has called hardware wallets scams. Bro, you're the dumbest person in crypto. You just got dumb luck. It matches your level of intelligence. 
That's why you were making minimum wage. Minimum mentality, bro. You got it. Trade isn't, trade isn't muted. So, so think, how, when are we gonna get past this? You know who okay, talks about free you. will? You know who talks about free will, Trevon? It's, uh, by the way, everybody, Elite Magazine is allegedly Trevon. Um, it's called Free Will. You know who talks about free will and, and says that it's not his fault that things happen, that people use their free will, but he, he puts breadcrumbs down and lets them do those things? The motherfucking devil, bro! <laughs> Yeah, you know, he even got me with that whole ledger bullshit. Um, no way, dude. I, even, I, I even interviewed the CEO. Fuck. I've used every ledger. It's impossible to have done what he claims happened. He either lost his private keys that he wrote down and was very irresponsible or lied about it entirely and just wanted handouts. I'm having a baby. I make minimum wage. I tell yeah. you guys all this sad, sob, sappy, sad, sad stuff. Give me money. I lost it. See, when he says, I love you, Ken, that makes me think, like, <laughs> that's got to be Trey. But I don't know. Like, for, like I've never seen this this uh, Elite magazine before, so I don't, I don't fucking know. <laughs> I cannot not love Trevon James. I, I used to be a big supporter of his. I hate BitConnect for literally buying his, sell, his soul. BitConnect bought his dignity. BitConnect bought his pride. And I, I had to bail on that. I, I'm not going to sell out. I know I could have made money, Trevon. You're making money. But I'm going to do it honestly because in the end, digital reputation is everything. And you and your stepdad, Craig Grant, are going to be on that little island all by your lonesome. Enjoy it. Enjoy your money and giving each other foot rubs. Y'all yeah, motherfuckers be lying. Unmute him and give him a chance to talk at least. What? He is How unmuted. How you say he's not muted? I'm <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm just going through the chat. <laughs> Um, no, I didn't promote a scam. I was paid to make a video about a wallet that turned out to be a scam. That's not promoting a scam. That was just, hey, this is how you use this wallet. And I did mention in the very five seconds in the beginning that, hey guys, this video was paid for. The video lasted about one hour. It got about 50 views. And then my Ether wallet hit me up and said, hey man, that website's stealing private keys. I immediately took that video down and made a video trying to get people to get their keys off. So in the end, I think I actually helped people get their stuff off of that scammed wallet. So no, I never promoted a scam. I was actually scammed by a scam, and then I had to help everybody that was misled, not by just me, but the Cointelegraph and other very reputable sources that were paid to sponsor this wallet. So yeah, good luck with that. And that's like comparing the BCC white paper Satoshi Nakamoto to the Bitcoin um, uh, white paper Satoshi Nakamoto. You can't just argue, we do not need to know who created BitConnect because we don't need to know who created Bitcoin. It's not the same fucking thing at all. It's not. <laughs> uh, Trevon and Craig are having gay sex. <laughs> Well, that's probably why they couldn't make the live chat. I, I could have rescheduled it, guys. If that's when your cycle is, I could have found a better time. Or they could have been doing doggy style and both of them could have washed. But I guess they're not smart enough to do that. <laughs> um, some do said it. that I'm digging deep for the dirt. Is that all that they got? I, I just like this one. This one right here really is like, hmm, hmm. I bet if that was like, if that was a flavor I could dig my teeth into, it would taste like snot and dog shit that sat out in the sun for a week. What, which one are you talking about? Uh, slide number four. The bot is a story. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, right? I, I, God, I just know that he's going he's gonna to show this, this slide on his, on his channel. I, I hope he does know. because people should know that they are, they are definitely yeah. promoting a scam and telling people that this is how they make money. Oh, I, I put $100 in. I put $100 in and I made it back in hours. Slide number 12. I only invested $100 and got it back within hours, so I have nothing to lose, quoted Craig Grant. Yo, you, like, you're misleading people. And Trevon, by association, your bridges will burn. 
uh, people will learn, and the fools will know what's up, and they won't come back. You're gonna, you're gonna have to get a whole face transplant, and then you can come scamming people again. <laughs> yeah, no, and they think that they're doing themselves justice by like, okay, so I'm gonna show what I said right here on this slide, and then you know talk about it, and you'll love, you know. But then the, the th on the other hand, you know, there's still people who are like, oh, so he's he's showing what he said and everything, and explaining himself, you know. So he's not a bad guy. He's not a bad guy. <laughs> hey Trevon, why don't you come on? Get BitConnect and make money. Yeah, as long as you use Trevon's referral link, guys, and make sure that when this pops, you get a good lawyer. Ken equals broke loser. <laughs> I don't make minimum wage. I make more than double what Trevon claimed to make sweeping up the back room of a warehouse. Like. I make so much money, I can't afford to make YouTube videos. I wish I had the time. I actually have a real day job, a career, a career. You know, like what a salary is, bro? <laughs> like, it's a fucking job. Yeah. This costs me money. I'm losing money right now. I should be doing something else more productive with my life than, than trying to warn people not to believe 99.9% .9 of the stuff that spews out of your mouth because I'm sure you said the sky is blue or the time was right at least once a day. Give us the screenshots. I need it for Steam. <laughs> Would you please unmute him so he can say his piece? He's not muted. It's uh, Elite Magazine, and he couldn't even spell Elite right. Or is that Elliot? I don't even know. It went by too fast. It's out of my view. <laughs> elite. Elite. Oh, I don't know. It doesn't matter if I'm lying, does it? You can't prove I'm lying. Oh, so I'm telling the truth by your fucking logic with BitConnect, motherfucker. How big are Trevon's titties? They're anthills. He don't he don't do no chest day. He don't know nothing about chest day. <laughs> I would love to see that dude do some bell flies. Are you serious? Oh shit, I triggered Siri. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap it up. Trevon, you were here, and, and, and everybody forever is going to be able to read all you had to say to defend yourself. Forever. You can use this video wherever you can steal it. I actually changed the YouTube terms to standard, by the way. So if this is on his channel, everybody can feel free to take care of that. Um, but yeah, I, that's all I have to say. Uh, Trevon literally brought nothing to the table. Um... That was all he had to say, guys. You can read it below, Elite Magazine. Uh, Craig Grant was too busy to make this event. I think he was on the boardwalk doing the cog shell hustle, trying to swindle <laughs> grandmoms out of their uh, jewelry. But um, it was a good show. Uh, Trevon Lames, I mean, uh, uh, John Crothers. Crothers? Crothers? Crothers was like... Brothers with us. I want to say brothers. It just happens. And my John Brothers. You got to change your last name, bro. It's like 500 bucks. You got that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Make sure you check out Crypto Therapy on YouTube. Uh, make sure you uh, unsubscribe from Trevon James and Craig Grant. Um, uh, don't forget to don't forget to report the video if he did upload my video on his channel. Uh, warn everybody on the internet by sharing this and tagging, tag Trevon James and tag Craig Grant when you share this video. So people have some context to put to the video. Um, again, Ken Bozak, have a day. Um, hey bud, you want to tell people again uh, who you actually are and where they can actually find you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I am um, Crypto Therapy. You can find me on YouTube. I do parody videos. That's why he's calling me Trevon Lames. <laughs> so, um you want to subscribe go ahead and do it i really appreciate you um and that's really it and have the day you deserve have the day you deserve i like it it's a i like that it's close it's close to have a day i i feel like the conspiracy theories are going to come into play <laughs> <laughs> all right guys thank you everybody for the support shout out to crypto aka omar bam i can't believe he stopped by Shout out to Trevon Lames, Trevon James, everybody else who was here, uh, Boss Lady, uh, Bitcoin B, uh, everybody shout out to, uh, let's see who we got here, uh, Jet was here, Andrew, shout out to, uh, wow, we have a lot of people, uh, Cheesy, 
uh, the American Homestead uh, Crypto Odyssey. Thank you for all your support. Uh, everybody, thank you so much. Make sure you guys let everybody know how you really feel about this. After I upload it, you can go ahead and comment and just let everybody know how you really feel. Am I wrong? Am I right? Are you with me? Are you against me? What are your thoughts on some of the screenshots and how we interpreted them? All right, guys, thank you and have a day.